My name's Laura Poitras and I'm a filmmaker. I do documentary films and I do work that, that looks at broad themes, but I tell the stories by looking at individual stories and try to document historical events as they're unfolding in real time. Currently I'm working on a, a series, a trilogy of films that looks at U.S. post 9-11 history and the war on terror. I began this, this body of work with a film um, that I made in, in Baghdad and it looked at the U.S. occupation of Iraq and uh, it was called My Country, My Country. And the story followed a Iraqi doctor living in Baghdad and his family um, and it juxtaposed his life with the U.S. occupation and I had access to both. And I was interested in sort of looking at how civilians were coping with this occupation and how you could really see, like at a very high level, U.S. military engagement involvement sort of running the show behind the scenes. When I went to Iraq, it, I didn't have the intention of doing a series or a trilogy, and, and, uh, but when I was planning to go to Iraq, Guantanamo was, had been opened. And I knew then, I knew as, as I was editing it, I said I, the next thing I really needed to, to take on was Guantanamo. So I decided to go to Yemen um, to, to make the film, and because the largest group of detainees still being held at Guantanamo are Yemenis. And the story I was looking for was actually not the story that I ended up telling, which was a story about um, a man named Abu Jandal, who was Osama bin Laden's bodyguard in Afghanistan, and who, who left Afghanistan before 9-11. The, the oath follows Abu Jandal's story, driving a taxi cab in Yemen, free, um, and then there's another story that's, that's that unfolds in Guantanamo. Ultimately, it's a story about um, the war on terror, Al Qaeda, and the choices we're making in this um, in this conflict. So I'm working on the final chapter of this trilogy. Some of the themes will be NSA surveillance, uh, WikiLeaks, war and whistleblowers, and it will look at kind of how the war on terror comes home. My work is absolutely completely dependent on the people who open their lives to me and take huge risks in doing so often. I mean, I, in most of the, the, the films that I've been working on in this trilogy, it, pretty much everyone has their life on the line in one way or another, their life, their freedom. And, um, and so the, it's really, the, the films are based on, you know, their courage to allow me to sort of go along on these journeys. So my reaction when I got the call, well, I cried. I get this call that's like sort of the greatest encouragement you could imagine for your work, right? Like it's saying, yes, we, we really want to encourage you to keep, you know, to keep going. And so it was, you know, it was profoundly moving. Mm -hmm.